Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing a couple of morale patch panels, um, namely some different ones from HSGI and OC Tactical. Um, you might have remembered our little do-it-yourself video on creating your own morale patch panel based on some Veltec fabric and a frame. Um, some guys have come onto the market recently and actually created real patch panels, so you don't need to worry about a do-it-yourself project anymore. Um, there are now some really good offerings from both HSGI and OC Tactical who were, um, as far as I know, the first ones on the block to offer these kind of patch panels. So um, without further delay, let's kind of get into it and we'll show you kind of the patch panel offerings we have from both HSGI and OC Tactical. All right, guys, so below me, what you're going to see here are the two different offerings from OC Tactical and the patch panel or the morale patch panel from HSGI. Um, the smaller patch panel here from OC Tactical, it, they are dubbing their Grande patch panel, which, is, which measures 18 by 24, uh, followed by the Mondo patch panel here, which is 24 by 36. And old Gene at HSGI, his panel uh, measures 27 and a half by 35 and a half. Um, the reason I'm kind of lumping these patch panels together in a review are that these are the first patch panels I saw hit the market. Um, Jeans and OC Tacticals really did come onto the market at the same time. That's why I'm kind of plugging them both. I, I think they've both got unique features that they're bringing to the industry with patch panels, and it's great to see people producing these. Um, you might have seen our that DIY I mentioned earlier where we actually took you through creating your own. Uh, I just feel that these are much better offerings than you can create on your own. Um, like our DIY had some issues with uh, the Veltec. Obviously, you're spray mounting that to a surface, and it can come off when you're taking on and off patches. You don't have to worry about that with uh, these sewn versions. Um, I do want to address kind of the specific differences between the OC Tactical panels and the HSGI panels. Uh, one of which you might have picked up on already is the OC Tactical panels use grommeted corners um, as well as the Mondo patch panel on the OC Tactical, the larger size, has a middle grommet that you can't really see in the frame here, but um, they use grommets which is great for you know throwing a nail or a tack or something into a wall and hanging these up. Um, whereas you can do the same thing with the HSGI panel, you're just drilling through fabric because there's no um, there's no actual grommet in there. What the HSGI panel uses is pockets. So one thing that I think is a unique feature about these is that you can get a hard surface like plywood or plexiglass and create basically a hard back surface for uh, the patch panel if you need it. Um, one thing also that uh, makes a difference between the two panels is that you'll see they both use nylon on the back. Um, the HSGI panel is uh, actually fused to the Cordura backer, whereas the OC Tactical Patch Panel is uh, sewn in three sections. So you can actually, I mean, if you were to grab the Cordura and the Multicam loop at the top, you can actually separate those, um, whereas on the HSGI you can't because it's actually bonded. It's not a big deal and it really doesn't affect um, the quality or the, the difference between the two patch panels. It's just something different that I uh, wanted to note there. Um, You'll notice some great attention to detail on both of these patch panels, both the HSGI and the OC Tactical patch panels. Um, they're sewn very well. You'll see Mike's tremendous attention to detail on the corners and things like that, just in the stitching and actual production on these things. Um, these are both the HSGI and the OC Tactical panels are made in the USA, which is great. Um, and they're available from the respective websites, and we'll throw those into the article for you too, as well as the uh, description in the video. But um, you will notice just a little thing on the binding tape on the HSGI panel. It terminates there, which you could have a, a little issue with the binding tape separating there. Um, I've been using this quite a bit. Uh, we use it for our display out at the, uh, the silencer shoot to display all our patches out there. And, I mean, it's, it's been through the ringer a little bit. I mean, I haven't really, <laughs> you know, taken it out and abused it too much. But um, that separating there in the binding tape really isn't too much of an issue. But you will see that Mike's from OC, uh, he uses one single piece of binding tape and he folds it at the corner. So that's a difference as well. But wanted to give you a little recap of the patch panel offerings, uh, basically that I like out there. Um, just my personal preference. I think that uh, these have kind of come around uh, lately with a lot of people. And I think that it's great that patch panels are being produced now. I think it's a great way to display your morale patches and. Um, better than the DIY method, but if you're up for that, you can check out our video on that as well. 
But if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. And uh, check out OC Tactical and HSGI if you're interested in a patch panel. Thanks for watching.